Even though in prison, Daniel didn't give up hope. He kept physically fit, continued to play football, and even coached the younger prisoners. It wasn't easy, but every week he kept in touch with his girlfriend on the outside, which helped. Daniel served eight months of his sentence and was released on licence after eight months. And whilst on licence, he was allowed to resume training with his club and teammates. In his first season back, he started on the bench for most of the earlier games and one of his teammates had taken his spot as the main striker at the club. However, during his training, he worked hard and worked his way back into the first team. He went on to become the top scorer for his club during that season and for the next two seasons. He was also the first player to score 200 goals for his club. Knowing how difficult life was for him at the beginning, Daniel went on to start his own charity and they regularly raised money for children from his city that had similar challenging beginnings as he did. Daniel's now happily married to his girlfriend and they have two children of their own. It isn't always the circumstances we're born into that determine our future lives. The choices we make along the long journey of life can also determine the direction of that journey. Daniel didn't always make the best choices, but he learned along the way and became the hero of his journey. What type of journey do you want for yourself? What choices can you make to become the hero of your journey? If you want to learn more about the hero's journey, check out Spark Inside's Hero's Journey Life Coaching PDF and listen to our collection of inspirational Spark Inside Hero's Journey podcasts.